A few months back um, in April of this year, we showed off the Nikola tray at Nikola World. That was a vision, a vision to what the truck could look like, what the truck could actually do. What's really incredible is when we found this partnership with Iveco, it truly is a, an, an incredible marriage. Three months ago, we finalized the paperwork with Iveco. And in three months, our teams, without sleeping, have pulled this off. Most OEMs around the world would take three years to put a program like this together. Our teams, by being able to take the Iveco S-Way chassis, completely revamping everything around the, the outside and the inside to make it pure Nikola, we had unrestricted access from Iveco to do whatever we wanted with this, which was incredible. We now have production lines ready to go with the same chassis that's built with the S-Way, supplier bases that are already established, service and warranty that's already there. So what's really special about this truck is while a lot of the other OEMs are building very small battery electric trucks or very limited range hydrogen trucks, Nikola is actually doing, we're actually doing it. What does that mean? This truck is, this will have 750 kilowatt hours of lithium battery in it. That'll allow it to go over 300 miles on a charge. It'll also have between 60 and 80 kilograms on the hydrogen version. That'll allow it to surpass the battery range by, um, by quite a bit. There are two different markets completely. The idea of this truck is, is that you have a market that uses distribution, where cost to move freight is lower with uh, electrification on batteries. And then you have the market where you need fast turnaround. You need long range. You need a lighter truck. You need a truck that can quickly turn in 15 minutes and go. You need a truck that can work in negative 30 degrees Celsius. You need a truck that's unrestricted around the globe. That is what the hydrogen brings to, the, to this. This truck will be offered in both variations, which is awesome. Both the drivetrains between the electric and the hydrogen truck share the same platform. There's almost no difference. The battery allows us to refine that platform very well. It allows us to bring the fuel cell in right after that to make sure that that platform is ready for it. What Iveco brought us was a savings over four years of testing and, testing and validation and over half a billion dollars of savings. I've been asked quite a few times what, um, what mistakes my competition has made. And I think single-handedly, the advantage that Nikola has is, is the ability to see their weakness. We know what we're good at and we know what we're not good at. We needed a partner. We needed an OEM, global OEM, that had the ability to help us manufacture these trucks, has the assembly lines figured out, has tens of thousands of engineers on their staff. We did not want to duplicate that. I could not wait seven years to solve the emission crisis that we face right now. We decided to partner with Iveco. So rather than laying off tens of thousands of employees like a lot of the other trucking manufacturers are doing, we're going to be hiring many of those employees. This world is transforming. Either you will get behind it, you will create jobs, you will solve emissions, you will solve complex social problems, or you'll hide behind your desk and lay off employees. We've chosen to take the higher road. We've chosen to take the road where we will build the most advanced semi-truck this world has ever seen, and we'll build it for Europe, we'll build it for the United States. We're bringing in the fleets, the customers, the end customers, to give us their final feedback on this truck. This truck was built with a, with a platform. Many people talk about a skateboard platform. This is more of a versatile platform. That means it can accept either the battery electric or the fuel cell. It's, it's almost identical. It was built for both. It took a lot of engineering to be able to do that. That way, we didn't have to disrupt the entire supply chain, redo the, the chassis, redo the configuration, redo the, um, the engineering behind it. We could take either one that we want to do. And this is the last step before that process of going into road trials and production with customers. Once we have that final feedback, the drivetrain will be installed, whichever one, whether it's a fuel cell or the, or the battery electric, and it'll be tested on the roads sometime around the third quarter of, uh, second, third quarter of next year. So what does that mean? That means the battery electric version will be ready for production in 2021, and the fuel cell will be following shortly after. 
the fuel cell really is an incredible project because it's not just solving the zero emissions on the tailpipe. What's really amazing about Nikola's business model is, is that it solves the zero emission in the entire supply chain. When we pump hydrogen into our truck, we can guarantee that that hydrogen in almost all aspects around the locations around the world will be zero emission from production to consumption. When you pull energy out of the grid, you can't always guarantee that. This is what I love about hydrogen. There's so much clean energy around the world. The wind, the solar, the hydro. There's thousands of megawatt hours sitting there being wasted. People are not able to use it. They either bleed it off, they give it away, they don't use it. It's, and what's great about hydrogen is you can place this hydrogen station inside of a city and you'll gain a station that'll have the ability to buffer the grid up to 20, 40, 60 megawatts. So if you look at this truck, the hydrogen tanks will be integrated right in here below the, below the frame rail, along with the batteries. It lowers the center of gravity. There are no tanks behind the cab. It's the first of its kind anywhere in the world. We have 60 kilograms of hydrogen on this very short wheelbase. There is no OEM in the world that has that ability to do that. We have no tanks behind the cab. That is brilliant engineering helped by Iveco and Nikola. Tonight is a night to celebrate. This truck, interior and exterior, is very close to what we will go into production with. We will get the feedback, small tweaks, but it is fully functioning here. You can open the doors inside. It's, all the screens are there, all the displays. It has the most advanced infotainment systems you've ever seen. 21-inch monitor managing all your routes, your freight, your, even your, uh, your income as a driver. The ability to do navigation, the instrument clusters, automatic braking, lane control, ultimately built and designed for level four, or level five. Although we don't do that ourselves, we'll work with suppliers on the, on the autonomy. The truck was built that way from the ground up. It has full redundant power steering, full redundant braking, torque vectoring. Why is that important? If you have power steering go out, you can begin to torque control the truck to move it around until you can get it off the highway. You cannot do that with a single axle gearbox. One brilliant thing that Nikola has done is they've combined dual motors for each axle. So that means you have one motor pertaining to every wheel. That allows you to not only have redundant steering, but also redundant braking. If you were to have an air failure, the truck could actually stop itself on a, on a, on a decline. This would not be possible without Iveco. It would not be possible without the Nikola team. It truly is a wonderful marriage. Tomorrow, we'll be opening this truck up for everybody, for all the media and everyone else to see. There's high-resolution photos available right starting uh, any minute now on NikolaMotor.com as well, where you can see all the interior photos and the exterior photos of the truck in high-resolution or low-resolution, whatever you, whatever you want. Tomorrow, you'll be able to climb through the truck when we have it opened up for everybody to see on stage. It's not the, not the right spot. But it is. This is... This is truly not just um, the truck we unveiled in, at Nikola World. This is 15 steps past that. That's what's exciting. That means we're going to be delivering a battery electric truck, a fuel electric, electric truck, years ahead of the schedule that everyone thought. 2021, you'll, you'll have the ability to take delivery of the Nikola trucks. We have some incredible customers here that have already placed orders. And shortly thereafter, you'll have the ability to take delivery of the hydrogen trucks. We're building out that hydrogen station right now globally. In America, we've already got the largest hydrogen station in the Western Hemisphere at our headquarters. Can produce over 1,000 kilograms a day on site. We're planning to expand that up to, up to essentially eight tons, which is about 8,000 kilograms a day. That'll be done in Phoenix, Arizona. The station's already up and operational for pumping right now. But here in Europe, it's the same thing. We had to get that station dialed in. People have asked, you know, hey, Trevor, why, why are these stations not everywhere? What we've done is we've taken these station designs and we've, we've miniaturized them into, a, into a, um, an engineering uh, setup to where you can just stack them. You can put them essentially a couple megawatts at a time, however big you want. You can go eight, you can go eight megawatts, you can go 60 megawatts. And it was important to do that because it's all about mass scale. The idea is if you can build thousands of these same systems and just stack them together, you can drive that price down by 60, 70, 80%. We've been working very hard with Nell 
on the ability to fine tune this hydrogen station. We've been working on thermal controls, pumping controls, the ability to fill in 15 minutes. No one in the world has ever been able to do 60 kilograms in 15 minutes on a vehicle. That's nearly five, six times faster than you would see on, a, on an automotive car application. The amount of work that's gone into this, the team has never stopped. I know a lot of people have asked about the hydrogen network. You have to have it perfect before you pull that trigger. And we're right there now. 